Like every day. Simon. Oh, that could have Hey, Simon, how come you're doing all the ladies' work again? Oh, I know why. You're too weak to work outside with all the men. Oh, look what you did. Now wipe it up. Hey, stop. Leave him alone. Hey, look, it's the Christian weirdo trying to save the day. Hey, you're next. And your God won't be here to save you. My God will always be with me. And what you're doing is a sin before God. It's wrong and you shouldn't do it. What's going on there? Oh, uh, nothing. We, we just were saying hi to Jacob and Simon. Here, let me help you with that. You say your God loves everyone, but look at me. Nobody loves me. And I don't need your help. Just leave me alone. Kid, where are you running away from? Wait a minute. Aren't you one of those kids from the orphanage down the road? Yeah, I think he is. Ma'am, we found one of your kids running around in the street. If this happens one more time, you're gonna get reported. Ma'am, you don't wanna get fired. You gotta take care of these kids. I'm sorry, This officer. happened before already. I'm sorry, officer. This will not happen again. You ungrateful little boy. You know what this is gonna cost you? You're gonna lose your Christmas present. Your work is gonna be doubled. Go back to your room now at this time. Yes. Boys and girls, I have an announcement to make. If anybody dares to talk to Simon or visit him, they will lose their Christmas present and you will do chores for the next two months, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Understood? Yes, yes ma'am. Now I want you to line up. Mm -hmm. 
you will only take one. It's me, Jacob. Jacob? Why are you here? To make fun of me because I don't have a presence like you? No, I'm not here to make fun of you. I came here with something for you. Something for me? I thought it would be nice if you have something for Christmas too. Really? Is it all for me? Yes, it is. Today is Christmas after all. kids are having fun, but I'm not. Christmas is always supposed to be good, but this year Christmas is so horrible. No, it's not, Simon. Maybe you think it is, but Christmas is wonderful every year. That's easy for you to say. You get to celebrate Christmas with the other children. I don't. I need to be in my room the whole day. I like presents and celebrating too. But that's not the reason why I like Christmas. I like Christmas because of the Christmas story. The Christmas story? Oh, you mean about Santa? I don't believe in him. He never gave me any presents. No, silly. Not Santa. I mean Jesus. It's all about Jesus' birthday, and we should be happy that he was born. But why I should be happy that Jesus was born? Because he saved us. Here, I brought the Christmas story book. Let me tell you all about the real story. A long time ago, a couple, Mary and Joseph, were waiting for a baby, but had to make a long trip to a city named Bethlehem. Mary was about to give birth, but they needed a place to stay, and every inn was closed. They did not know what to do. But then they found a stable where animals lived. That was the only place they could stand. Can you imagine that? That night, Jesus was born in the stable. Shepherds and wise men came to visit. Even angels praised him. The Savior was born who would take away all of our sins. What are sins? I don't know what that is. Sins are the bad things we do, the things that don't make God happy. And because of our sins, we can't be with God in heaven. So he sent his only son to take away our sins. That's why Christmas is so wonderful. So, do I need saving? I want to be with God in heaven. Yes, everyone needs saving because we all sin. But if we believe in Jesus, we can live in heaven with him. Thank you for this orange. And thank you for telling me the Christmas story. Now I love Christmas. There you are. What are you doing here? Please don't punish him. He was only trying to be nice to me. I'll do chores every day and I will try the best I can. I promise. Where did you get that orange? Jacob gave it to me. Okay, boys, let's go.